<laughs> okay, thank you, Mrs. Pennington. So basically, uh, what it is is about that. Um, there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of cords that you can receive, such as a blue honor cord, which is known as a path. If a student completes a pathway that meets the minimum qualification, complete a, a number of work based learning, they will receive a blue honor cord. Now, there's also another honor, which is the medal, which students go above and beyond, which they require to achieve uh, to complete the following, such as do enrollment courses, earn industry certification, as well as completing a number of hours of paid or unpaid internships. Now, there's another one, which is a NAF certification, which is only for the our Medical Education Research Academy, which is a similar requirement as our uh, medal. The only difference is that they require 120 hours of paid internships. Now, uh, how are due to COVID-19 in this year? So current seniors, uh, that hours may be waived. Uh, as long as students conduct as certain amount of hours, we will issue them their certifications as well. And thank you. Any, uh, Kristen, uh, Craig, do you want to add on anything as well? All right, again, uh, parents, you need to, uh, you missed a link. Our questions is at tinyurl.com forward slash McLean CTE Parent Night. Again, that's tinyurl.com forward slash McLean CTE Parent Night. Students who are checking in, please use the following link at tinyurl.com forward slash McLean Check In. Again, that's tinyurl.com forward slash McLean Check In. So now, let's look at our, our next questions. So they say, as a freshman, what kind of experience can it, uh, we actually get in a CTE pathway? So uh, maybe we have uh, Ms. Flores, who also teach a freshman. You want to answer that as well? Yes, I try to bring a lot of work-based learning. I'm also a lot of guest speakers, so different types of doctors in the different career pathways. So it gives the students an idea of which type of pathway they would like to enter into the medical field. It also gives them the option of not just being a medical assistant, but going into nursing, maybe being a surgeon, and it opens the pathway for them to invest into post-secondary school. All right, thank you. So let's view our next question. Uh, the next question is because of COVID-19. Uh, so because of COVID-19, how can we do our projects? You know, as you know, students are in the pathway, I know that's something as you know, we've been known for our uh, pathways that students do project-based learning. So, I mean, we will adapt, honestly, you know, we will try our best, we, you know, uh, we won't stop there. We will try our best to adapt with this new world and uh, Mrs. Pennington uh, or Mr. Gonzalez, would you mind to share what's your plan of doing project-based learning for this year? I'll go ahead and comment on that. Um, first of all, thank you for being here and asking those questions. Uh, project-based learning is, is very important, not only to us as teachers, but to the students. It is something that as they go forward, it's really gonna help ingrain and help them remember the, the process. So we use a lot of stuff uh, digitally right now so they are going through understanding the different parts of Microsoft Office, uh, PowerPoint features, or Prezi, uh, how to do presentations. So there's a lot of different aspects uh, that we're asking to do there, whether they upload their work or they share it on Google Slides. We're using a lot of that uh, at this point in time to do that with the hope that eventually if they have an opportunity to do a face-to-face -face presentation, They'll have all the information and the tools, and they would have had enough time to practice and prepare that it will not be a difficult transition for them. So those are some of the tools that we're doing, uh, but of course there really is no substitute for the actual part of doing it. Uh, we're going to do our, our very best to help them uh, individually so that collectively we can be better. Hope that answered your question. All right. Thank you. Uh... Uh, do you want anyone teachers want to comment as well as projects? So that's a very good question. I know every situation is different as well.
Okay, Mrs. Spenson? I'll, I'll comment on that also. One thing to remember in our universe right now, they are doing surgeries remotely from around the world through um, computers, robotics, digital technology. So we're, we're actually st taking a step into that world, into the modern world of medicine right now through distance learning. So I know that sometimes it feels like we're at a disadvantage when really we're not. We're really being forced into the current day and age of healthcare, pr uh, providing healthcare. Um, right now, today, our doctors are doing telemedicine calls all the time, all day long. And um, so I think it's a wonderful opportunity for us to expand and get outside that box that sometimes we put ourselves into. And um, I think it's a great opportunity for what the future of healthcare really is. Okay, thank you. Um, any teachers want to comment on project-based learning? I know, Kristen, do you want to comment as well? Because as other schools are doing, you know, project-based learning is something that is we do across not just only at McLean High School, but other schools in our high school as well. Hi, Mana. This is Kristen. And yes, project-based learning really is about a strategy of getting our students to collaborate, work with our industry partners, and be able to solve problems collectively and present their solutions to these problems um, to our partners. And so this is a strategy that we have embraced in all of our career technical education courses. Um, Simply moving to an online platform, whether that's through Teams in this particular case, uh, we are mimicking industry who are also many, as uh, Mrs. Pennington just shared, many industries have already shifted over to a distance learning, if you will, platform. So we really are preparing our students for that next level of skills that they need to have moving forward. Okay, thank you, Ms. Borowski. So uh, yes, so project-based learning will do our best and it will adapt, you know, and especially with working from home, you know, I want to comment on our intern interns with our Union Bank, you know, they're going to start working from home and with our medical pathways, with our paid internship with Fresno EOC, I know they used to go, you know, in previous year, they go down to the VA and to conduct their clinical hours, but now they have to adapt into a working at home environment where we're going to still do, you know, students will actually have the opportunity of getting an internship but in a different format as having these, uh, what we call collaborations through online meeting, whether it's through Pacific, through Microsoft Teams, or if there's a shared uh, document or a deliverable that they need to do as well. So that is one thing here. So uh, there's a, a question, next question that just came up, but before I do, uh, do get to the next question, I would like to kind of transition back to the students check-in. Just make sure uh, if you haven't checked in, please make sure you submit you want to uh, win some giveaways because at the end we will have some giveaways so please enter your name there at tinyurl tinyurl.com forward slash mclean check-in again that's tinyurl forward slash mclean check-in or you know to be simple there's also a qr code on the right hand side of the screen just simply take a picture of that and you will be in as well and for parents who wanting to submit questions same procedures uh, just a different link please go to tinyurl.com forward slash mclean cte parent night again that's tinyurl.com forward slash mclean cte parent night so um we have the next question which is going to be interesting i think this pertains so as a freshman can we do internships as freshmen, so that is a good question, actually. Uh, technically, uh, not all of our pathways, but we do have one specifically for our medical education and research academy, which we are part of the NAF, which stands for National Academy Foundations. Uh, what they did was uh, last two years ago, where NAF partnered with UC Berkeley and actually uh, recruited freshmen in the summers to go down to UC Berkeley to actually conduct their internship and also get not just on that they get a stipend they get paid for that in that three weeks at UC Berkeley and in this previous year as the current cohort that was the class of uh, 2022 I believe where uh, there's this last summer because of COVID-19 they still conducted their internship with uh, UC Berkeley but in a virtual manner as well where they log on to Zoom and I was able to observe what they've done and they work out on such as STEM and etc so Hopefully we will, you know, uh, continue that what we call future ready scholars with NAF. 
and we hope we, we can recruit more. So it's possible, you know. Uh, right now, most of our pathways, like our Union Bank, our uh, interns are specifically for seniors because there's uh, specific skills that they have to achieve in order to apply for that position. And same thing with our uh, intern other internships with Fresno EOC, which is a requirement at senior. But we, there's gonna be opportunities that where freshmen, sophomore, or juniors. And especially with Kaiser, Kaiser is also another uh, summer internship that is offered throughout each year where they recruit uh, juniors and seniors, as well as our teacher academy, our summer teacher academy. Uh, they do offer our summer internships. It's also for both juniors and seniors. And is there anything to add on, Grady, uh, Kristen, that you would like to add in terms of internships? Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, let's see, no question yet. Again, uh, if you want have any questions about our career technical educations here at McLean or within Fresno Unified, please submit your questions at tinyurl.com forward slash McLean CTE Parent Night. Okay, so students who are also checking in, please make sure you check in because we can, uh, we're going to have a drawaway at the end of this session. So please uh, check in at tinyurl.com forward slash McLean check in. Okay, so one of the work based learnings uh, that we uh, often do within our, our pathways, uh, for example, uh, we do which, such as day at the hospital, uh, such as, you know, we also have job shadow days where there's specific days in each month uh, where each indus by industry sector, where we bus students all over the city of Fresno. So that was exciting. And now this year, because of COVID-19, we'll hopefully uh, have that same experience, but maybe in a virtual way. So, you know, Kristen, if you want to comment on that, uh, what's our plan with our virtual job shadow, our district-wide virtual job shadow? Sure, um, virtual job shadow day. Our first one is actually scheduled. I'm looking at the schedule right now for October 27th. And so we are um, continuing planning and moving forward with virtual job shadow days. We have industry partners who are thrilled to have our students um, virtually visit their facility and talk about their particular careers the skills needed to be successful in that particular career. Um, so we are excited about the opportunity to be able to host virtual job shadow days. This will actually allow us, um, talking you know, similarly to Mrs. Pennington earlier, this allows us to actually expand opportunities for students. And so being able to do this virtually, um, there will not be the numbers of restrictions that sometimes some of our business partners have in terms of people at their facility um, so we're able to actually expand opportunities. So if you are interested in participating in a job shadow, if you're interested in having your son or daughter um, participate in a job shadow, please feel free to reach out to Mr. Arun um, or your job developer who is in your career center and they can get you signed up um, and provide you that information and link for our virtual job shadow days. So please know those are coming up. The first one again is October 27th. We will have another one right before Thanksgiving on November 18th. So please know we have all of those scheduled um, and we're continuing to move forward with our plans for Job Shadow Day. And um, Mrs. Bross, can you confirm uh, for October 27, what industry sector would that be? Would it that is an excellent question and I will have to look it back to you, Monica. Okay, um, <laughs> thank so you. Yeah, Mr. Because you yeah, I'm currently because the in yeah. training right now, so sorry, yeah. I can't tell you that one yeah. specifically. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but yeah, because every year so we do good. have, uh, you know, specific dates throughout the school year where it's specific to health science, there's a day specific to business and finance, etc. And also, I uh, also want to mention about our career center services, you know, uh, we do, uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Lopez will offer uh, career center services uh, every day. There's one before school, 
from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. before school begins, and the one after school, after 2.30 to about approximately about 4.30, where students can check in, need support. As I mentioned, if you look at the introduction video earlier, you will actually see there's, um, you know, you, whether you need a scholarship or a job application or a resume development support and all of that. Oh, there's another question that just came up. Okay, here it says that, how can I get a work permit? That's a great question. So yes, because, uh, yeah, that's a really great question here. Uh, yeah, be, be, prior, be, uh, before school started, uh, when we went on school closure in March, most of our work permits was uh, through the college and career office. But now school has uh, got, uh, we got back online. Uh, now our so school site is actually processing work permits. Uh, the, the process to actually process work permits, uh, is well, you cannot come in person. So there's a website. Uh, please visit our McLean website. And then you can actually click on support services and click on work permits. So under guidance tabs, you can actually see that six work permits and it gives you all the instructions where you can actually download the application, fill it out and email to Mr. Lopez and Mr. Lopez will actually process that and give it back to you. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, please do check our McLean website. It's there, you can, you know, there's multiple links. You can actually click on support and guidance or on the guidance tab. And then once you click on that, you will see a link that says work permits. And you, once you click that work permit page, you have the exact instruction. And plus the application is also on there. You can actually download and fill it electronically and uh, send it back to Mr. Lopez and he'll get that back to you as well. Okay, thank you. All right, so, uh, uh, yes. Mr. Roon, can I add one thing about work permits? Yes. So just as a reminder, um, students are not allowed to work during school hours. So although we are in a distance learning format, when students are in synchronous time in the morning, they are not allowed to be working during that time frame. So California labor law is very clear about parameters for students working. And so please keep that in mind if you are working or if you have one of your children working, they cannot work during school hours, even in a distance learning time frame. So Great. thank you. Thank you, Ms. Borowski. And, and Mano, point. quick question. Yes. Are the are entertainment work permits going to be there as well? And because they're, so they're different. I, I can tell you, so school districts do not issue entertainment work permits via California labor law. And so we can give you that address where you can actually call them um, and they can facilitate your entertainment work permit. But school districts do not issue entertainment work permits. Uh, no, they don't issue them, but school still has to sign off on them because you still have a 2.0 and all that good stuff. So, so all of that have been waived during COVID-19. So okay, all GPAs and attendance have been waived during this time frame. Good. Thank you, Kristen. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So, you know, work permits and, you know, because school, even though we're starting school online, it doesn't mean that you can work whatever time you want. So our school sessions from that 9 a.m. to 2.30 school uh, students should be in school and prior to that they can actually work so uh, thank you for that question as well so we're almost about time so it's time for the final one is the giveaway so again let me see for students who are last checking who haven't checked in make sure you uh, check in with uh, tinyurl.com forward slash mclean check in enter your name there and we'll start the drawing let me pull up the forms to see how many actually submitted. So, okay. And then thank you parents, friends, and families for tuning in tonight. Uh, uh, I know things have been a little bit different this year, but like I said, we still move on as part of even CTE. Uh, we're known for, for that hands-on learning but due to uh, safety, it's our number one priority. So we'll do the best to adapt, you know, across all industries. We'll make sure that uh, students will get the education that your child deserves as well. So with that said, I'm gonna do a random check and I'm gonna project this on the screen. Let's see. So, we're wondering what the prize are, right? So there's four winners who's getting a, a water bottle. Top four winners, the top four. And then, 
The last word is getting a pop sockets. Our McLean Gear pop sockets. And then, uh, so uh, we won't be announcing names. We will just uh, project your student ID numbers. And then from there, we will actually um, email you directly how to pick them up. So uh, please check your school email. We will check them out. So the winners are, drum roll please. Anyone want to do drum roll? <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get on here. So let's go into my screen here. Okay, the winners are, so the first winner is 588275. Winner number two is 577196. Winner number three is 576109. Winner number four is 594471. Winner number five is 589070. Winner number six is 610251. And winner number seven is 610247. And our last winner is 627458. So these are the lucky winners. Congratulations. Uh, we will be emailing you through your school email on instructions how to claim your prize. With that said, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, so one final thoughts, uh, anyone would like to have a final word before we close out the evening? Mr. Spencer, do you would like to close out the evening? <laughs> 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 yep. Uh, thank you all, all the parents that have come, all the students that have come. We appreciate you all, and let's uh, get ready for a great year. And Kristen, any final thoughts? I'm having a minute, Mr. Spencer here, and thank you so much for being here for our first ever virtual parent night. We are extremely excited about the creativity and innovation that is happening this year already, um, and we look forward. Um, to a wonderful school year. So again, please let us know if there's anything that you need in terms of support for your students' success. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. Gonzalez, you want to like add anything? Just want to thank everybody for taking some time out of your, your busy and crazy schedule uh, to tune in. This is the uh, first time we're, we're doing this, so we're all excited and we're all in the same boat. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Yang? I just want to take the time to thank everybody that um, was able to attend tonight's virtual pathway parent night with us. Um, I believe we're going to have a great year. Even though there's challenges, we will succeed. Go Highlanders. All right, Mrs. Flores. Thank you, Highlanders and parents, for attending tonight. Um, and it's just not today. Feel free to reach out to us by email for any questions, any support that you need. We are here for you. We are all in this together, and we are going to conquer and achieve. Thank you. Thank you. And Mrs. Pennington? Again, just to echo what everybody is saying, thank you so much for being here. And I would just really encourage everybody to think of this as an opportunity for growth that we never had before, as opposed to something that's limiting us, because really the sky is the limit with what we're able to do. And as Highlanders, we rise above. All right. Thank you. Good night, everyone. <laughs>